going to read the little engine that could. The little engine that could. Chug, chug, chug. Puff, puff, puff. Ding dong, ding dong. The little train rumbled over the tracks. She was a happy little train, for she had such a jolly load to carry. Her carts were filled full of good things for boys and girls. There were toy animals, giraffes with long necks, teddy bears with almost no necks at all, and even a baby elephant. Then there were dolls, dolls with blue eyes and yellow curls, dolls with brown eyes and brown bobbed heads, and the funniest little toy clown you ever saw. And there were cars full of toy engines, airplanes, tops, jackknives, picture puzzles, books, and every kind of thing boys and girls could want. But that was not all. Some of the cars were filled with all sorts of good things for boys and girls to eat. Big golden oranges, red cheese apples, bottles of creamy milk for their breakfast, fresh spinach for their dinners, peppermint drops, and lollipops for after meal treats. The little train was carrying all these wonderful things to the good little girls and boys on the other side of the mountain. She puffed along merrily. Then all of a sudden she stopped with a jerk. She simply could not go another inch. She tried and she tried, but her wheels did not turn. What were all those good little boys and girls on the other side of the mountain going to do without the wonderful toys to play with and good food to eat? Here comes a shiny new engine, said the funny little clown who jumped out of the train. Let us ask him for help to help us. So all the dolls and toys cried out together. Please, shiny new engine, won't you please pull our train over the mountain? Our engine has broken down, and the boys and girls on the other side won't have any toys to play with or good food to eat unless you help us. But the shiny new engine snorted. I pull you. I am a passenger engine. I have just carried a bit fine big train over the mountain with more cars than you ever dreamed. My train had sleeping cars with comfortable berths, a dining car where waiters bring whatever hungry people want to eat, and parlor cars which people sit in soft armchairs and look out of big plate glass windows. I pull the likes of you. Indeed not. And off he steamed to the roundhouse where engines live when they are not busy. How sad the little train and all the dolls and toys felt. <coughs> then the little train called, little clown called out, The passenger engine is not the only one in the world. Here is another engine coming, a great big strong one. Let us ask him to help us. The little toy clown waved his flag and the big strong engine came to a stop. Please, oh please, big engine, cried all the dolls and toys together. Won't you please pull our train over the mountain? Our engine has broken down, and the good little boys and girls on the other side won't have any toys to play with or good food to eat unless you help us. Help us. Help us, baby. Help us, big strong train. But the big strong engine bellowed, I am a freight engine. I have just pulled a big train load with big machines over the mountain. These machines print books and newspapers for grown ups to read. I am a very important engine indeed. I won't pull the likes of you. And the freight engine puffed off indignantly to the roundhouse. The little train and all the dolls and toys were very sad. Cheer up! cried the little toy clown. The freight engine is on not the only one in the world. Here comes another. He looks very old and tired, but our train is so little, perhaps he can help us. So the little toy clown waved his flag, and the dingy, rusty old engine stopped. Please, kind engine, cried all the dolls and toys together. Won't you please pull our train over the mountain? Our engine is broken down, and the boys and girls on the other side won't have any toys to play with or good food to eat unless you help us. But the rusty old engine sighed. 
I am so tired. I must rest my weary wheels. I cannot pull even so little a train as yours over the mountain. I cannot. I cannot. I cannot. <laughs> and off he rumbled to the roundhouse, chugging. I cannot. I cannot. I cannot. Where are you going, honey bunny? We're almost done. Then, indeed, the little train was very, very sad, and the dolls and toys were ready to cry. But the little clown called out, Here is another engine coming, a little blue engine, a very little one. Maybe she will help us. The very little engine came, chug, chug, chugging merrily along. When she saw the toy clown's bright, she stopped quickly. What is the matter, my friends? she asked kindly. Oh, little blue engine, crawled the, cried the dolls and toys. Are you not interested in any more silly bugs? <laughs> you silly baby. All right. You want to play? You want to play instead? Yeah. Uh,